So whether you're just now getting ready to start your own school or you've been teaching for 20 years already, we really need to consider the way you organize your curriculum. There are two main formats for organizing your curriculum and teaching it. One is the linear leveled curriculum or the other is the rotating curriculum. A linear curriculum or linear chronological style curriculum is one you probably think of when you consider a traditional martial arts such as karate or taekwondo, something like this. You go through each bell level, there's a specific syllabus, uh, certain techniques, a form, kata for example, self-defense moves that you learn at each level. And they're specifically assigned to those belt levels and you go through them in order. Whenever you have a leveled curriculum like this, you generally need to have different classes. A beginner class, intermediate class, and an advanced class. What you can do is group together two or three belt levels in each of those classes so that you really focus in on those particular techniques and forms and, te and self-defenses or whatever they are for those levels. Um, this makes it a little bit more challenging. You have to have more classes on your class schedule. You might have a lot more beginners than you even have intermediate or advanced, etc. But that is a, a linear level curriculum. Um, now you might have been in an association or a style where you don't really have a lot of ability to modify your curriculum or syllabus or, or really want to, and that's okay, but you can still be creative in the way you present it and consider alternative ideas. Now the rotating curriculum is something that in a way is a little bit more modern, and it's an approach where you take your whole curriculum white through black belt, and instead of teaching it in a linear way, and everyone has to learn these moves at this particular belt level, you break it up into rotations. So what we've done with our cur curriculum is we have it in four rotations. So rather than having um, the leveled particular system, we have four three-month rotations. Students learn this group of techniques and then the next three months and then the next three months and the next three months. After the year is done, we go back to rotation number one. And what happens is it's performance and it's mastery based. It's the first time around wasn't enough to really master those techniques, but by doing it again and again and again and doing it over the next few years, it really gets embedded into their muscle memory. And we also like to consider different perspectives and different tiers of techniques. So if the first time we did the rotation, let's say there was a front choke defense, we practiced the basic concept, how to defend, how to get away from it, how to do some combatives after it, for example. And the next year, whenever we do it, we did the front choke defense and then also the front choke defense on a wall. And then the next year we could do the front choke defense um, from seated, a seated position or on the ground. And what happens is you get to practice different angles and perspectives, speed, distance, timing, but it's all the same technique. So rather than having to teach 400 different techniques, which could get extremely complicated and really isn't going to be that useful, uh, we could teach a smaller number but and see them in different ways. And uh, what happens is your whole class gets to learn and train and test together on the performance and understanding of those moves, that particular rotation, whether they were a white belt or a green belt, it didn't matter, they all worked on it together. This allows you to have a, a, simpler, a much simpler class schedule because anyone can show up to any class. Um, so there are some pretty good benefits to having a rotating curriculum. You could have six rotations, you could have eight rotations, but um, the overall concept can simplify things for you. The last thing to consider is you need an organized testing system and one that's easily understood and communicated to your students. When they sign up, new student orientation in the manual or whatever you have to give to your students, whether it be a printed manual or something you email, a video that you made that they watch when they sign up, or uh, you, something you tell them after their first lesson, they know, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to earn my next belt now, which is the yellow belt, and I have to get this many stripes and this many patches or whatever it may be, and they know how it works. Um, set it up so whether it's every three months that you have a test or graduation program, or every four months or every two months, whatever works for you, have it set up and make it uh, align well with the type of curriculum that you chose. Don't be afraid to change curriculum as well if you need to modify things that make sense to you or go from level to a rotating. Um, it's something that can be very positive if it's, if it's framed in the right light to your student base.